Hey, we're back. I accidentally turned the camera off, I suppose, in the last episode. But I'm back. The Great Gratu Orloff Show. Dr. Orloff, Pastor Orloff, General Orloff. I go by many titles. But right now my title is Hoarder. So I have um, too many, too much trash. I'm trying to clean it up and you're watching me clean the trash here on the live uh, Gratuor Live channel. Uh, this is uh, some article from Film Threat. I don't need that. What else do we have here? Garbage, garbage. I guess that's supposed to be a bulldog student group. Uh, what else do we have here? There's a picture of a comic rack. That's not my comic rack. I just pulled it off the internet. I like this old ad. Keep a knocking and you and you can't get in. You can see what influenced our crumbs art. She grew up to be that horrid witch, Hillary Clinton, hard to believe. That's tougher than the MC5, Amy. Oh my gosh. This is for a time capsule. What is there to remember about us? What important items would you include to show what life was like in your lifetime and why? Where would you like to bury your time capsule so future generations might discover it and why? And how many years should pass before discovery of your capsule and why? Yeah, a lot of stuff I don't need. This is, um, oh, this oh, is the God, statistics for my grandfather. Um, he's a, he was a professional. I'm saving that. He was a professional baseball player. Uh, he played for the Cubs, um, the Yankees, and the Phillies back in the, about a, exactly 100 years ago, pretty much, the 20s. Um, yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe early 30s. His name was Lefty Weinert, Philip Weinert. This, these are copies I made. I own this press kit, so these are copies. So I don't really need them. Is Alfred I'll save the uh, these Detroit. just in case I and, uh, here is get Alfred that theater, Bolden. I guess. And, and you're going to hear uh, Twinkie did it in the last one, and uh, Stephanie knows a lot more about this than I do, but there's there's something in this music called a phrase break or, or shout music, and it's got a certain bass line. A lot of times it's an E flat, <sighs> right A flat, um, but you heard it in this one too, and you heard it in the last one. There's but lots of things I've copied out of old magazines is what I'm looking at here. Alright, Alfred Bowden, great name. Remember this monster ghost dad? Isn't that am <laughs> amazing? It was just a balloon with a with a sheet. That's how you use G.I. Joe Ed. Here's an ad from the National Comics Group. Screamers playing at the Cherry Lane Drive-In in Fort Worth. That's no longer around.
What is this? Oh, it's my auto insurance from... What year? Oh, it expires in July of 2007. I guess I don't need that anymore. There are many little kids getting started on, on B3 in church playing the baseline. Oh, here's Comic Shop yeah, News. A little freebie from the comic store. I guess today's comic, new comic book day. Uh, uh, this is from uh, June 22nd, 1994. I mean, I don't know if people save these. I don't know why I saved this particular one. Now it's too old for me to, th to throw away because I just should have thrown it away in 1994 when it didn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything now, does it? Oh, this is kind of cool, I guess. The, the inside is probably cool, I guess, to someone. Oh, I thought that was Batman there. I was thinking, why is Batman in Image Comics? So they, they, it's young blood. Yeah, I'll say that. Oh, oh here's a calendar, a, a Esquire Varga girl calendar. It's Alfred Bolden before that, uh, Clinton Clark to Gospel B3 Masters out of the city of Detroit. And like I said, there's so many. Um, one kid from Atlanta who I think is still in his teens who is this amazing product his name is Jaden Arnold who plays in the church this is a South magazine I've got in the uh, Dominate Look at this. I like this devil girl that's a very bad photocopy this is a um, I tried to get a hold of a couple a couple B3 players who were playing church in New Orleans this is from uh, the Monster Times I think musicians um it's time for the joke of the but week. But this movie star and news, this always. ad here, that's the company that, uh, The Claws. In the background, we've got, um, um, the incredible Swedish... Beatrice Irving Claw, who ran that company with his sister, took all the, uh... Now, I he's the one that took all the, like, the bondage pictures of Betty Page in New York. Uh, and, uh, until... I don't know if Movie Star News still exists for a while. When I was collecting all this Betty Page stuff, his, his sister was still alive and they were still selling all the Betty Page pictures out of their store in uh, New York. And they were also selling on VHS um, transfers of the 8mm films. Yeah, they would shoot 8mm films of Betty Page dancing and being tied up too. Um, Irving and Paula Claw. That's a great last name, isn't it? Claw. Uh, I was just out of the shower when I uh, started the last episode and I realized I'd never comb my hair. So I thought I'd comb my hair looking at myself. I feel like I'm getting a cold, which is a horrifying thing in the days of. Uh, in these days. Let's see. see. Yeah, this was kind of a weird coincidence. Here's a picture from 1954, right? An art teacher at the school I worked at helping a young girl, right? And look at how cool the art teacher is with that pendant that she hung out in beatnik clubs. Anyway. That's a picture from 1954. Then here's a picture I just took in 2005, and I just thought that this was this girl was a really good student. And I just thought, wow, it looks like it's the same person. It's so cool. And she was at the same school. So I would do things like that. I would. I like to uh, 
to uh, recreate old photographs, but that one was done by just, that was just a happy coincidence. And I'd print these old things in, in the magazine, like this Chiquita banana uh, little cartoon advertisement, because I just thought they were cool. So I'd print a, a school newspaper, school magazine, and I'd make it kind of like my, uh, my old days doing the sophisticate you know I just put all the old ads in there just because I like them and I think most people liked them some people said why are you putting old ads in there for places we can't even go to anymore because they've been out of business for 60 years and I said well why not because they look cool this guy here is a picture from 1957 number 54 there went on to become a billionaire, one of the richest people on the planet. And, uh, yeah, I even, I even stole this from the old Monster Times and threw it in the school paper. It won't work, says Rodan. It'll never last, this cynical opinion on the probability of a long and happy marriage between Godzilla and Mothra was expressed by her old flame, Rodan. Remember, fans, True Scream Confessions had it first. When contacted at his desert ranchero in the breathtaking sea of Bol Bolshevist revolution on the dark side of the moon, the craggly handsome sullen Rodan seems still to be stunned after the sudden and unexpected loss of his true love to Filmland's most ferocious superstar. It will fall apart, Rodan predicted, because Godzilla just doesn't have what it takes to keep up with her. Believe me, I know, he exclaimed, wearing an expression which might have been taken for heartache and chagrin in a warm-blooded creature. She'll run him ragged. I give it a couple of years, tops, for either tosses her out or has a heart attack. There's just too much bounce in that little beauty for a big, slow, solid guy like Godzilla. Anyway, crazy stuff. And then I had a letter column I just stole from Batman, you know, and then the kids wrote letters in. And...